All right, Frankie, I'm just going to do a quick overview of your engine block and original components before I switched everything over to the new block and added new parts and components. Um, this is obviously your old engine block here. just kind of want to show you what we were working with when it showed up. Uh, you know, fairly greasy, typical of an old engine sitting in a bilge. You know, we've got water in these two cylinders here, probably from the exhaust manifolds. Uh, over here on my bench, um, We've got the components laid out. Uh, fuel pump, a little low on fuel pressure. Uh, the other thing I noticed was there's quite a bit of corrosion where the water fuel separator filter uh, would adapt. You know, this this could be cleaned up, but with low fuel pressure, it's not really worth uh, screwing with the pumps and things. So it's just one of those. Replace the whole module, call it a day. Uh, obviously, I changed the oil filter, an uh, O-ring, uh, old engine oil pump, uh, old spark plug wires. Uh, old belt. The new engine block you bought from us came with a new uh, tray, came with new oil pan. Uh, here's your old circ pump. Obviously tired. Uh, I changed your idler pulley uh, as well as your uh, port motor mount. Um, obviously this thing's so rusty there's no way you're going to get any adjustment out of these threads. Uh, the other motor mount the starboard side looked just fine so I left that one on there no reason to buy another one uh, thermostat we were putting that freshwater cooling kit on so I changed that uh, a couple of miscellaneous sensors old knock sensor I changed those out uh, map sensor um, I changed a lot of the hardware uh, you know the new exhaust pan folds came with new mounting hardware and gaskets so I changed all that there's no reason to reuse a lot of these rusty bolts uh, that are questionable um, the new engine obviously came with new push rods. I also changed fuel lines. Um, you can see where when the engine was removed there's some spots where there's kinks in the lines. These are braided externally. They're hard plastic internally so when you start to get kinks like this they cause severe restriction inside the jacket. Uh, so those were changed just so you have uh, consistent fuel pressure. Uh, here's your old manifolds. You know very very worn uh, water in every cylinder um, it looks like there may have been a riser gasket possibly leaking right here you can see where the the rust trail is all the way down into the manifold uh, very common fall riser gaskets just because they've got a real thin wall between the water jacket and the exhaust port uh, so there's not a whole lot of gasket material between there this manifold didn't look terrible but um, just to be consistent, we changed both sides. Uh, we changed your flywheel. Here's your old one. Uh, you know, ring gear teeth aren't bad, but it's another one of those things where if you've got it out, just do it. It's not worth screwing with. Um, here's some cylinder heads. You know, these are all roller rockers, uh, which is exactly what you got with the new engine. You can see the back of them here. Other than that, uh, you know, alternator I did, I told you I changed that. Starting to squeak a little bit. Don't want to put a old alternator on a brand new engine and have an issue down the road. It's just not worth it. So, uh, thermostat housing came off uh, because the new fresh water cooling kit included a new thermostat housing. And I did change your seawater pump and pellet seal. And here's the finished product, uh, your 5.7 GXI-J all put back together. Uh, you see you got the new fuel pump on here, uh, the new idler pulley. Uh, I didn't have to get you a new crank driven seawater pump, it just changed the impeller, it was clean. Uh, your pulleys, uh, you know, power steering pump pulley, circ pump pulley, uh, this idler pulley. I was able to just sandblast those and clean everything up. Uh, no reason to replace all that stuff. Um, you know, new alternator, your fresh water cooling kit installed. Uh, that cuts your shroud out so it fits, looks just like a factory cut. Cleaned up your wire harness. New manifolds and uh, these are the tall risers on here. Uh, there's one of the new motor mounts. Uh, like I said, I just did the one side. The other side I just blasted and cleaned it up, repainted it. I did do a tune-up kit, cap and rotor, 
Uh, you saw the old plug wires. This has got new plug wires on it, obviously. Coil and uh, coil driver module all checked out okay, so we reused those. Your power steering cooler here, uh, that was fine, so we reused that. Uh, bell housing coupler, that was fine. Uh, relays, everything else, they're good, so there's no reason to replace any of that. Let's pop the cover off here real quick. I'll show you the intake. I did take the intake apart. Uh, I took the upper plenum off, cleaned the upper and the lower, put a new gasket in there, cleaned up the flame arrestor, uh, got you two new studs. One of them was rusted at the base. Um, basically, no threads left, so I got you two new studs there for the cover. wire harness I had stretched out all over my bench. I went through each one of the connectors, got all the grease off them. Uh, again, tried to do my best to make it look like a factory engine. So they're all cleaned up. Here's the starboard side manifold and riser. Got your new starter down here painted. One of the knock sensors on the block. Uh, the one motor mount that I was able to reuse and cleaned up in the sandblaster. Uh, went through all your hoses, cleaned them up, got the rust out of them. None of them really looked bad, uh, so I was able to reuse all those. They're just dirty from seawater use. Uh, oil filter and power steering. Uh, reservoir is able to clean that bracket up back in here on the sandblaster too. Cleaned up all the hoses, cleaned up the power steering pump. Got your new belt on here. The old one had about seven eighths of an inch of uh, play in it, so the idler um, tensioner pulley, I guess, uh, just wasn't doing the best job of keeping that good and tight on there, so I did get you the new belt. But uh, let's do a cold start here, see how she runs.